Many artists dislike the coarse texture of a gessoed canvas. In this video we will show how to eliminate canvas texture using golden molding paste. Depending on the scale of your project, types of stretcher bars and personal preference, a variety of tools can be used. This silkscreen squeegee works well to cover the entire surface of this small canvas very quickly. Simply apply a bead of molding paste over the entirety of your canvas. Larger stretch canvases pose a risk of an uneven buildup of molding paste, especially in the center, as well as developing streaky lap lines with this particular method. An alternative method that produces consistent and economical results uses a small palette knife, molding paste, and optionally some acrylic paint. Begin by applying a very small amount of molding paste out of the container and scrape this across the surface of the canvas. If the amount of applied molding paste is hard to control, simply return some back into the container. Continue to scrape an even, thin layer across the entire surface of your canvas. It is best to hold the palette knife at a sharp angle to remove most of the product, leaving a very fine skim coat. This also pushes the molding paste into the low points of the canvas without building upon the high points. Allow this coat to dry. For the next coat, we will add some heavy body hands yellow medium. This allows us to differentiate the next coat of product from the last, especially helpful for this video demonstration. Adding paint to your molding paste is optional, but is helpful and also creates a great layered background before painting. We will now coat the entire surface again. This layer requires far less product as the depth of the texture has been significantly reduced. As you can see, we are still tightly scraping a thin layer with the knife at a sharp angle. Even though this is a very smooth surface, the translucency of the molding paste layers appear textural in the video. Once again, we will allow this surface to dry. For our final layer, we will add some heavy body carbon black to our molding paste to get back towards the look of the original black gessoed surface. The colors used are entirely up to the artist, which should have enough contrast between layers. Now we will coat the surface one last time, creating a very smooth and sealed surface. You will notice at this point that the product travels effortlessly across the surface of the canvas and resistance is minimal. If for some reason the surface doesn't end up as smooth as hoped, a little wet sanding may be done after the films are dry. What a difference there is in the surface texture compared to the original gessoed canvas.